Hey, what's up? This is Evan from Stock Music Musician, and today we've got some big news. This could be the end of Pond 5, could be the beginning, but they are announcing that they're now allowing subscriptions for music. What is that? We don't know all the pricing details, at least as of right now. It literally is launching today. But last week, they sent an email to their music contributors saying that today they have started a music subscription service. If you're interested in getting into music licensing, I've got a free five-day music licensing crash course. You can click on the link down below. Essentially, all of your music that is on Pond5 up until now is automatically being converted to subscription eligible. As far as I know right now, there is no way to opt out your music from Pond 5's music subscription plan. What do you think about that? Please let me know in the comments. I think that that's pretty awful, that you don't have the choice to control whether or not your music is just for the subscriptions or just for the sales part. That wasn't part of the original bargain that we signed up for. And, you know, I could see them automatically including everything, but then giving us the option to opt out. That's not how it is right now. We'll see what happens down the road. But does that mean I'm going to remove my music? No, I'm not going to remove it for now. I think it would be more work than it's worth. And I think that's kind of what they're counting on, is just that most people are going to sit by and do it. And frankly, I don't know, the subscription could actually work out okay in the Pond5 context. I think that the way they've designed it, at least as I can see, uh, you know, not, not that it's like that it's just going live right now, is that subscribers to their music subscription service get 10 songs to download a month, uh, which isn't a ton. And, you know, they might not necessarily, they might download more songs than they would normally, right? So that might mean that if your song was kind of like on the margin, maybe they would get it. And if it wasn't, you know, before, if they had to pay 20 bucks up front for it, they wouldn't, but now they will, uh, which could be nice. But, you know, who knows what it's going to cost for the subscription? Maybe let's say it's $20. If that means that 10 songs are downloaded at $20, then, you know, Pond5 is going to take their, what is it, 65% or whatever their chunk is. So you'll get less than a dollar for a song. Uh, that's really, really not good. Uh, so we'll have to see what these revenues look like. We'll have to see how many people sign up. That said, uh, since the pandemic started, I have found that my sales at Pond5 have really uh, slowly tapered off over the course of the pandemic and have not been that good lately. So I'm hoping, hey, maybe this will breathe some life into it. Maybe it'll also get more people back interested in Pond5. You know, they might dip their toe into the water with a subscription or two, decide it's not light, right for them, but then enjoy the content uh, and maybe buy the occasional song here and there, increasing the overall amount of sales. I do want to note that the regular ability to purchase a song flat out is not going to go away. So that's really nice to know. And hopefully they'll price it in such a way that the subscription only makes sense if you want more than three or four songs. So that, you know, you're not going to be making it just a no-brainer for everybody to buy into the subscription. But instead that, you know, let's say let's say the average price of a song is $20 on Pond5. Well, to purchase 10 would cost $200. So maybe the subscription is going to be $100. And then there's a lot of everybody wins. Well, maybe not everybody. But there's a good chance people will win because there's a huge chunk of subscribers that will not purchase or will not download 10 songs every month. Some people might subscribe and not download a single song, and hopefully the way their pot is allocated, which they haven't described, uh, but that money will go to everybody who did license a song through the subscription service. Anyway, it's really early in the process. I just wanted to make you aware, you know, go check your royalty statement starting in a few days, and maybe you'll start seeing some stuff pop in. Uh, I'd love to know what you think about this. I'd love to know your experiences as it starts to roll out. So please do share them in the comments below. And be sure to check out this next video because I think it's really going to open up your eyes a little bit more into music licensing. Thanks!